Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And he tackles him hard at the 30. two-yard line. yard line second down Ready. Run, 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 run. nice run there gets to about the 11 yard line that's another first down Brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He makes it to the nine. Just outside the goal line. Runs it. Oh, he's level. Held a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on down. the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. He gets it up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. And Syracuse, the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's in trouble. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Gain of 17 on the play. First down.
from their own 48-yard line. It's first down. He fights forward to around midfield. A two-yard run by the halfback. Slings it. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 26. Gain of 24 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 26 yard line, first down. Two times, two times. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and one. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. 3-0, three Syracuse. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. They failed down here the last two times. He fights forward to about the 16. Gain of one on the play. First down. He fights forward to about the 13. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick strike and he drops it. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 68-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. They fall on it, and they got to him before he could get back to the line.
They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. From their own 25-yard line, second down, less than three minutes in the game. And he's leveled at the 37-yard line. made at the 39. That's good enough for another Syracuse. First down. Just throws this one away. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Make the stop at the 36. That'll bring up 36. He airs it out. It's broken up. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Ready! Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled right around the 26-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That will move the chance for another Syracuse. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. Ready! Ready! And he hits him hard at the six. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 48-yard line. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He is drilled at the 31. Number nine. 
line brings him down at the 31 yard line first down from the 31 yard line first down a little over a minute in the game brought down at about the 17 yard line number nine on the tackle at the 17 yard line first down Gets out to around the nine. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. He makes it to the six yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Right back to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. turnover for this defense they couldn't have picked that off at a better time just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass especially at this point in the game Syracuse is up a field goal and he's taken down around the 10 yard line Second and one. Pittsburgh's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. the ball game's over and our final score in this one 10-7 Syracuse as we take a look at the highlights Kirk how would you summarize the action in this one you wouldn't figure either team would pull away and it'd go right down to the very end this was a really exciting matchup Syracuse was not going to win this game easily and they knew that they had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top both teams should be proud of their effort That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.